Hey everybody, JMac here from MyVirusRemoval.com and today we're going to talk about change my PC's oil. In other words, we do maintenance on our car, because we know better, but we don't typically do it on our PC's, at least not well enough, which is why we're always getting infected. So I'm going to kind of show you kind of the schedule that I use and you can kind of play with it to fit your need. Alright, here's kind of the system that I use. Now, every week I run an antivirus scan and I run a scan with malware bytes. And then every month I run CCleaner and I just do the PC cleanup portion. Um, and I also create a restore point through Windows. And then every quarter I typically do a registry clean in a DISTY frag. Now again, now that I'm older, I'm not installing and playing as many games as I used to. Unfortunately I have to work, which really cuts down on my gaming time. Uh, but you get the idea. So if you're, I guess, a college student and you're doing a lot of gaming and a lot of playing and a lot of files coming and going, you may want to change this stuff around a little bit. Um, but this is what we're going to cover. So first, let's talk about weekly antivirus and malware bytes. Now, depending on which antivirus that you use, you can probably do um, have it kind of go on autopilot. So, like, I use a VAST and I use the free edition. Um, and unfortunately, like when you first open a VAST, it kind of looks like this, or it might look like this. It all depends. But when you open it up, it's really hard to find the location where you can set up to do a, um, a scheduled scan. But if you go to Scan Computer, Full Scan, and go under More Details, then go under Settings, here's where you can actually go to Scheduling. Now you can schedule a scan. I'm going to run it every week. Um, and they, they want military time, so I'm going to put this at 1800. And I want to run it on Mondays. So this tells me that every Monday at 6 o'clock, uh, it'll run a full scan on my PC. So that's kind of how you can automate the, uh, the antivirus scan, which is nice. Now, again, it, it all depends on what you want to do. I know some people that like uh, they game on Friday nights or something, but they always leave their PCs on Friday nights, and they have their scan set to run Friday at 2 a.m. or 3 a.m. or something like that. Uh, so you can set that up. Now with malware bytes, it's a little bit different. Now I have the free version of malware bytes, which means I don't get active scanning, so I have to wait till I get infected and then run it. Um, but I also cannot schedule anything. I can't schedule these scans. So if I hit settings and scheduler, you can see this is locked out. You have to pay the $24.95 to be able to schedule this. So with malware bytes, you're going to have to run that manually. And again, you just double click. Wait for it. And then hit perform full scan, hit scan. So again, and you can do that before you go to bed some night, maybe it's Fridays, whatever night works for you. But I do those two things every week. Now, monthly, I run C Cleaner. I just do the PC cleanup. And I also create a restore point. A lot of people don't kind of understand the restore points or how they work. All right, let's talk about CCleaner first. CCleaner is just like this, um, and it's short for Crap Cleaner. You can just do the Windows Cleaner, which is what I do, so I just click on Cleaner, um, or you can do the Registry Cleaner. So uh, every month, I just run this regular cleaner. It just again, it goes through my temporary internet files, my cookies, my browsing history, um, stuff that I may have downloaded and installed, empties my recycle bin, things like that. So it just kind of does a little bit of extra maintenance and cleans. It kind of cleans up my hard drive of things that I'm not really using. So you can hit Analyze and then Run Cleaner. And that'll go. As far as I know, there's no way to schedule this, I think, unless you buy the, the full version. So again, you'll have to run this one manually. Now, the second one I want to talk about is the system restore points. Now, this is Windows XP here, but it's still kind of the same thing with, with Windows 7. Um, go to My Computer. If My Computer's not on your desktop, just hit Start and look for My Computer. Right-click, hit Properties that'll bring up your system properties and if you click system restore make sure this is unchecked um, a lot of guys turn this thing off um, a lot of virus companies will tell you to turn this off because they're afraid that you'll get a virus and then save the virus under a restore point and then later on your antivirus will clean it but then when you go to restore that because you had a problem with your PC you get the virus again don't worry about that very seldom ever happens so make sure this is turned off and then decide on how much of your hard drive space you want to save for these restores. So what System Restore does, it just it restores the settings of your system uh, to the way they were at that point. So again, uh, how much you ever, depends on how big your hard drive is. A lot of you guys at home have, you know, one and two terabyte hard drives. So you can use a little bit of space. Otherwise, just use 5%, something like that. Hit Apply. So now that turns it on, but then you actually have to create the restore point. So to create the restore point, you just hit start, 
go to control panel and if you click on performance and maintenance there's system restore so I click on that this one comes up you just create a restore point next what do you want to call it I typically do the date <coughs> and then hit create now they say the date and time is currently added to your point which is fine um, or you can call it whatever you want and then close and then again the nice thing about it is let's say you know I, I create this restore point on Sunday and then on Friday my PC starts acting up and I think I may have got a virus or something like that or I think my files are I, I did something that I screwed something up I can always go back here and hit restore and then restore my computer to that time and when I hit next it'll say hey here's the ones that you have so I can grab this one that I just created pop it back on there and that'll reset my windows back to the way it was and hopefully fix that stuff so that's an idea so again I do that every month now the last two every quarter I typically run a disk defrag and I run the, the registry cleaner um, through CCleaner so as far as the the registry cleaner again I just run CCleaner I go to the registry portion scan for issues and I fix the issues and that's all I do and then as far as the disk defrag I just use the one that's included in Windows I right click properties tools defragment now I typically don't ever even analyze I just hit defrag um, and again depending on what you're doing uh, if you're moving a lot of files back and forth from your PC um, and by a lot I don't know 20 to 30 a week something like that you know uh, college students will typically they're always downloading files mp3s word documents for school term papers things like that uh, and then they're removing them off the PC and moving them back making changes gamers have a lot of games they get a lot of updates they remove games they reinstall games so all that stuff fragments your hard drive so people like that may need to defragment more often but for me um, pretty set in my way so I don't necessarily need to defragment all that much All right, so again, so that schedule works for me. Yours may be a little bit different, um, but anything you can do to automate the process, like the antivirus, just schedule the scan and let it do that on its own. Um, malware bytes, you know, fork over the 25 bucks and let that thing schedule um, and run actively. Um, now me, I, I set stuff on my calendar uh, where my wife will come and say, "Hey, by it's the first you need to do blah or something like that." Nowadays, she can just say it's the first, and I know exactly what she's talking about. She she means I need to do my stuff that I, I've listed on the calendar. But you get the idea. But again, you can modify these. It all depends on what you're doing for your PC. But if you're keeping the registry clean, you're keeping your your hard drive defragmented, you're running your antivirus and your malware bytes, uh, and you're creating your restore points, you're about as safe as you can possibly be. You know, without doing going to ludicrous speed. But you get the idea. All right. So that's it. Don't forget a lot of these programs, like the free virus programs, like Avast, Avira, and AVG programs, like CCleaner, Malwarebytes, Spybot. All that stuff is all on myvirusremoval.com. Just click on it, go to the download page, and there's a ton of stuff. We also have videos, guides, tutorials, all this stuff to help you walk you through. If you've never defragmented, we've got a video for that. If you never you know, don't know where to get CCleaner at, we got a video for that. Um, but you get the idea. All right. Good luck and safe computing, guys.